there seems to be this commonly held idea that none of these tech companies actually make any money. That all they do is burn through investor money forever so they can accumulate a million billion users and then keep telling investors they'll find a way to monetize it at some point in the future. I don't buy this. Uh, I think it comes from a bit of a weird use of the term making any money, which is actually a very common use of the term, and uh, a little bit of the strange happenings in the evolution of capitalism into techno-feudalism. Uh, so what does it mean to say none of these companies make any money? Well, the CEOs are making money. They're making billions and billions. All of the high-up executives are making money. So it's not them that aren't making any money. Right? The people who own the company, they're making money. Shareholders, they're making money. CEOs, executives, all making money. So the people who work there, are they making money? Well, yeah, of course, they're getting paid a wage. These companies are making payroll every month. They're making money. They might not be, some of the, the lower ranked ones might not be making that much money, but they're getting paid to work there. So everyone at the company, individually, is making money. Making a profit, especially the, the, the higher up ones. So are the share, are, are the investors seeing, seeing a return? Well, they must be, or they'd stop investing. I mean, these guys, they might be old, but, you know, it's not the, the dot-com boom anymore, okay? Like, boomers have had, like, 30 years to figure out this crazy internet stuff. I think it would be a little strange if none of these investors were seeing any return to imagine that they'd some, simply keep pumping money in. It seems a little odd. You know, these guys are at least supposed to be good at what they do. They wouldn't just throw money away in the scale of billions and billions of dollars every year for no reason. They must be doing, they must be getting something back from it. It would be insane if they weren't. But even then, it's a little more complicated than that. But of course, none of this is quite what people mean. What people are actually talking about is the company itself doesn't record a net profit. And the reason for that is really simple. It's because if you don't make a profit, you have to pay less tax. That's why the company doesn't make any profit on paper, at least not in the United States or whatever country it's based in. If you look at the Cayman Islands, if you look at Ireland, they're making a profit there, right? But they're not making any money in the US. They're not making any money in the UK. They're not making a profit. Oh God, if we made a profit, we'd have to pay tax. So on paper, these companies don't make any profit. But according to all the evidence, the fact that they're able to expand continuously and hire new people and develop their uh, products and services and platforms and return billion dollar bonuses to all their executives and keep investors coming back for more. They're making money, okay? Don't let them fool you in the same way they're fooling the tax man, even though the tax man knows what's going on, right? Everyone really knows what's going on here. This is, like, you, you know this when I just told you that these big tech companies don't pay any tax. That wasn't a surprise to you, right? Like, you already knew that. Uh, so the idea that they don't make any profit, it's, uh, it's misleading. They don't make any money. It's not true. They don't make any money on paper. And uh, it really comes down to this fact that, like, making money, sort of the mechanisms of uh, market feedback and all these things, kind of don't matter anymore, which is really weird. Uh, because even if these investors, you know, I said I would come back. Uh, did I say that? I mentioned the investors and sort of left an open open thing, I said, right? These investors, even if they don't make money directly back from the companies, it doesn't matter. Now, why doesn't it matter? Well, because if these if these uh, if, you know, if, if this stuff all starts to tank, if the investment banking system starts to tank, they start losing money. If these big corporations start losing money, if the economy starts to crash, the government just hands them a check and says, go invest this wherever you want. It just hands them a check for free money. This is injecting money into the economy, right? This is a, uh, so they, they just hand them a check and then that check goes into the investment bankers pockets. And then those guys, they divvy it out among these tech companies. And so really, they're, 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 they don't have to make a profit. None of these people ever have to care about that. But in reality, you know, the question is, or at least supposedly, money is supposed to measure value. And so if you have user bases in the millions, that's your product, right? They, they're using your, your website or whatever for free, generally speaking. Some of them are paying you a subscription. But all of that data is really your product. 
in a lot of cases, even for cases where people are paying a small subscription fee every month, that that's also it. You're telling me that these companies with literally tens of millions of people paying, paying like five bucks, 10 bucks a month, aren't making a profit? Insane. It's an insane claim. They're obviously making shitloads of money. They're just scrolling it away. They're scrolling it away. Well, what does it mean to make money when you can't see that that money exists anywhere because it all gets spread off into all these crazy offshore accounts and never gets marked down as, as real profit. And when the, the CEO pays himself a bonus, it all actually goes into his charity. It's like, oh, well, I'm not paying myself a bonus. This money is actually going into uh, my my charitable works project because, of course, you don't have to pay tax on that. My, my charitable foundation, because I'm such a good guy. I'm just going to put a bunch of money into that. And uh, totally, I don't spend any of it. It all goes to charity, right? Um, so it's like no one's making money. Capitalism doesn't mean anything because no one's paying. You know, people, sometimes people are paying for these services, but they're paying with subscriptions. So it's not like they're, they're exchanging, you know, in the, the old fashioned way. You go to the store, you give them money, they give you an apple, right? It's not really like that anymore. Or you don't pay for them at all because really you work for them. They sell your data or they sell you, they serve you ads. Oh, that's more, more things. Okay. So are these data harvesting companies making money? Obviously, they must be some of the most profitable companies in the world. Now, the advertisers making money. Obviously, the advertising agencies are getting paid more and more because advertising is always important. They've never not been making money. And are the companies that are selling products making money? I'd say most of them probably are. Some of them probably don't do a very good job. But uh, that really has nothing to do with whether tech companies succeed or not. So but I would assume they would stop paying for adverts if they weren't, you know, seeing some return on their investment. So really, this I, I just want to sort of put a put a, a stop to this idea that um, websites like Reddit, for example, uh, like need to, to charge extra for their API like they're doing right now. <coughs> or, or websites like Twitter are bleeding money at this insane rate and need to be implementing these subscription services. Or, uh, or Discord is losing money at this insane rate. And Discord, I can believe. Reddit, also somewhat believable. Um, but, you know, someone's making money somewhere, is my point here. Like that money that that person is making could be, you can consider that to be money that the company is making. You know what I mean? Like, how does it make sense if, like, it, it's, it's a really weird thing. What does it mean to lose money when all the people in charge are making money? The only people losing money are, what, investors who get paid back from the government if they fail? I don't know. Who's losing money? Who's losing? Us? Maybe the, the 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 workers at those jobs having stagnating wages, but they're not. Maybe they get fired. I guess a lot of these places fired people after the pandemic. Is that who's losing money? It seems like money doesn't even matter, right? Because none of these places care, right? Like they have, they just if you like, they're not operating in that realm where where their primary feedback mechanism is capital, is is money, cash. That like. You don't, if you're, if you're running a, a website or whatever, you, you're running YouTube, you don't take away the dislike button and then see if your revenue goes up because your revenue can't possibly go up any higher than it already is. You already control all of online video. Whether you remove the dislike bar or not, your revenue is not going to change, at least not from the, your, your like customer base, um, who, you know, people like you and I, uh, so they're not doing it for money. They're doing it for other reasons. They have all of these other cybernetic um, feedback mechanisms, which which tell them all sorts of supposed information that we're not privy to about the internal workings of their business. How long did you spend on this page watching this video? Uh, how does this video compare to this video? What does the, 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 the AI-generated transcript of this video say? And how do those words... But, you know, all of this sort of thing. Uh, what websites did you visit after YouTube? Did you click off the page? This sort of thing. That is way more important than money because we're not giving them any goddamn money. So, yeah, even if YouTube, let's say, ran at a loss, Google would not shut it down because even if you're... That's just paying to have complete control over 
online video, which is such a massive thing to own, that no one's ever going to give that up, even if you're losing money. It would be insane. The point being, in this weird techno-feudalist world, companies don't make profit. Whether they, they, they don't sell products, they don't make profit, except somehow all the people at the top continue to get richer and yet claim that no one's making any money here. Okay, I don't buy it. 